Greetings. This is a collective reading for fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. Already we have Sagittarius energy poking its head through. So this is a collective energy reading for, there we have some Aries. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. All right, you guys, interesting. Ooh. So for some of my fire signs, you could feel like you're in this energy of being ready to manifest a relationship, ready to manifest a soulmate. There's something here. You've achieved a sense of strong balance within. So I'm seeking for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Temperance with the Two of Cups. For a lot of you guys, you have arrived at this place where you're more balanced than a lot of people. You can curb your passions. You can also allow your passions to go full throttle to the experience of, um, you know, victory with them. You can also, though, be very subtle and enjoy the melancholy, enjoy the, the simpler things. You can have like an affinity for little nuances and not flashy things just as much as you really like flashy things. There's a dichotomy to you. Some people may say that it is um, hypocritical, but you know it's just balance. You're like, it's not hypocritical, it's balanced. I'm balanced, the energy's balanced. I can go all the way this way, I can go all the way that way. What does the situation need? What does the situation call for? It's like you're a student Pages are students, first and foremost. You're a student of learning about the intellect of a situation, how a situation operates, how a community operates, how a job operates. Like, you're really good at being like, all right, here's the task, here's the role. Now, people that are really good at that, how do they operate? So I will learn from how they operate. So you're like a genuine student here. You take criticism. You take, um, you know, constructive criticism. You watch others just to learn. You study like you're actually studious. So I'm speaking to an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius who actually studies their hobby, who actually studies their work, who actually studies their job, who actually is like studying into something. Um, you could also be studying someone. There could be an energy here that you're studying a person from a distance or somebody is studying you from a distance with the two of wands. There's definitely a lot of studying going on. There's also a lot of indecision and no one's saying anything. So for a lot of my Aries, Sagittarius and Leos, your life could feel like crickets. You're like, okay, there's, you know, no love offers or, you know, my job is just simple. It's the same old, same old, like there's no change. And you may be ready for some sort of change. It seems in the past you've just walked away from a lot of situations or a situation has walked away from you because it wasn't giving you emotional fulfillment. You know, maybe it was giving you other things, clearly. But, um, and, you know, we have passion here. We have education. It's like you got some sort of passion from it or there was attraction if this was a person, if this is a relationship. Like, there was attraction to the person. It's not that you weren't attracted to them. It's just like, you know, there just wasn't that emotional connection. And so I'm speaking to an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius who has been in strong love before. It's like, it's, it's not even that, for some of you guys, you can actually still reconcile with this person with the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but it seems like you're waiting for them to step up and they're waiting for you to step up and you're like, bitch, I'm already up here. Like, you're the one who's gotta come up here to me. Like, you're, you're a page. But remember, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you're also a page. It's just, you guys are pages in different areas of life. And so that's why you guys are attracted to each other too, because you're attracting, um, you know, where you're naive, they're strong. And where you are really wise, they're really naive. And so where you're really wise and they're naive, they can find you boring. And, you know, the, with the temperance card, they're just like, well, that's boring. So I'm going to go explore elsewhere with the six of swords and the two of wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, for the people who are not in strong, committed connections, you know, your person could be exploring other options, you're exploring other options, and that can be part of the disconnect too. It's like, rather than fully committing just to one and really getting to know one and spending time on one, it's like there may just be too many, um, you know, opportunities or options here for that. And for someone, they're just not opening up to any of the opportunities. Like every time someone presents them with an opportunity, they're just like, and, and they like walk away, they turn away, or they just like straight up ignore the offer altogether. They're just like, hmm, I could respond to that, but no, I'm not going to. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I'm an Aries and 
you know, there's like a few messages that I have left on red right now. <laughs> and it's like, it's not for, it's not for any reason. I'm just like, I'm doing other things. And it's like for a lot of you guys, maybe you're just not, you, you're not invested in love right now. Cause you feel like when you invest in love, it doesn't give you the same return. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is who I'm speaking for right now. Clearly some singles, or if I'm speaking to people who are coupled, you don't feel like you're getting the emotional fulfillment from your partner and the way that you need it. And this could be something as simple as, um, you know, doing some sort of like relationship course together, um, doing some sort of retreat or something for that. That's interesting to get into that energy. Okay. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I pulled some Pegasus Oracle cards. This is a new deck that I got. I never use the books because I really just like getting intuitive messages from cards, but I felt called to read the book for this one card because I hate, hate, I know that's a strong word, but I hate the whole twin flame because I've, I don't know. I've just, I've been through that experience and I just don't think it's all people crack it up to be at the end of the day here. So we have the card of twin flame Pegasus is the card that came through Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What I will say though, in this deck, the twin flame Pegasus is a card of balance. It's a card of union. It's a card of partnership camaraderie. And, you know, we had that two of cups show out front and center with the temperance card in your reading. Temperance is also a soulmate card. We have those two pegasuses though, like two peas in a pod. We have the two of cups, two peas in a pod, even temperance. She's pouring the cups back and forth because that's how you balance them. So, um, it says, those who are experiencing intense solitude, whether by choice or circumstances that aren't their choice, and those who are feeling alone need connection in some palpable healing way. You benefit especially from the gifts of this card. Your connection, oh, and with the star system Omega Centauri. So your connection with the star system Omega Centauri sends a signal for new connections and deeper relationships for them to become available to you including your relationship with yourself, because as your relationship deepens with yourself, you change your relationship with others. So whenever you're in one, when you're in one frequency, you tend to hang out with a certain crowd. And when you're in another frequency, you hang out with a different crowd. And so you could be like, why haven't I found my tribe? I'm doing all the things I love. And spirit's like, yeah, you're doing all the things that you love right now, but this isn't your long-term thing. So for a lot of you guys, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you may be involved you may be first of all in like a career change you're like in the in-between where you're jumping from one industry to another you could be juggling multiple industries but you're about to really fully commit to one or you could be someone who's like i'm not changing my career at all but by the end of this year you'd rewatch this video and be like dang she's right i'm totally doing a different career than i was doing when she gave that reading on april 1st so um aries leo sagittarius there's definitely some sort of change here in your work environment um whether it's getting new offers, you know, the page of pentacles is getting a new offer that are, that's tied to money. It could just be adding on because it's a page energy. It could just be like extra work. If you're someone who has multiple jobs, this could be like a new company assigning you on for some part-time hours, things like that. And, um, you know, I'm seeing this be something that's good for you. You're someone who likes to explore. I mean, especially fire signs. It's like the fire <laughs> needs to run wild. And so it's like, you know, you, you need to spread that light and spread that warmth and spread that energy and that passion. You have so much of it. You need to be able to like cultivate it and utilize it. Okay. So back to this energy, including your relationship with yourself, rather than attempting to control relationships, trust how relationships unfold and allow them to unfold. This will ensure that you process relationship karma more swiftly and that you can relate to others in a more mutually beneficial way. So as soon as something isn't mutually beneficial, observe that ish and retreat your energy real quick with that high priestess energy. As soon as you see someone's not reciprocating, someone's not in the same heart space as you, someone doesn't have the same intentions as you, someone is not headed where you are wanting to head the direction in your life, with relationships. And some of you guys, you know, that's the issue is if someone were to ask you what you want in a partner, if someone was like, all right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's your dream partner? What's your dream partner? You'd be like, uh, be like, crickets, crickets. So spirits, like there's an energy here. You, you need to almost like 
get really specific on what it is exactly you want in a person and that is when they will come in but because you're just kind of like well i don't know it's you know i feel like the universe has someone out there for me the universe is like yeah there's a million ways up to the top of the mountain there's not a million but there's a lot of potential suitors for you that you can build with on your way up the mountain on on their way up the mountain and you guys can climb that mountain together there's a lot of options so you have to get specific about your path in life um the twin flame Pegasus brings healings, healing to all connections, including the repair of your nervous system, connective tissue, bones, and it will provide insights to help you heal effects from your past, so like childhood trauma, which may be interfering with your freedom right now. So a lot of you guys could feel like you aren't as free as you really are because there is some childhood trauma there's some belief here we do have children coming up in this reading you could either be dealing with children um this week you could have children that you take care of or this could be again some memory from childhood that tends to carry over into all of your relationships uh what is that called enactment reenactment so um some of you guys may it may benefit you to study attachment styles to figure out what your attachment style is and to also study enactment reenactment and to um, kind of get to the root of creating some sort of system so you can become more self-aware. So whenever you jump into that state of reenactment with another person or you find yourself falling into an anxious attachment style or avoidant attachment style or whatever attachment style is, or that you know everyone you attract looks totally different, does totally different things, but their attachment styles are all the same attachment style, because that's like the underlying factor. You could be like, I don't go for the same person. I never go for the same person. Everyone I date is totally different. They may look different. They may be different shapes, sizes, ethnicities, jobs, careers, etc. But at the underlying base of it, they all have the same attachment style. Gotcha. Okay. So with, um, okay, there's a special encouragement here for healing matters around soulmates, twin flames. Ugh, I want to roll my eyes at this. It's funny because I literally, I like, don't I try to limit conversation with my twin as little as possible because I just know I'm like he's never going to be allowed in my life again um <laughs> he's just not and literally spoke to him for the first time in a really long time like two nights ago because he messaged me so a lot of you guys if you do have a twin flame if you're like what is she even talking about if you guys have a twin that you've been in separation with, you're probably going to hear from them soon or you've already heard from them soon because it's just kind of that energy coming through with this. Now, the other two cards that came up for you guys, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is Pegasus of the Eclipse, which, of course, I'm hearing that song, Total Eclipse of the Heart. So this could be someone who is like, oh, you eclipsed me out of your life. And you're like, no, my life is evolving. And as the wheel turns... I move with it and I'm just going on to the next chapter in my life. It's not personal. It's not about you. But like someone here is making it all about them and they're like, no, you're doing this. And it's like, no, I'm not doing any of that. Actually, like you're just triggered. So Aries, Leo, Sag, you have to know, you know, like when you make big changes, especially eclipse energy, this could be for those of you who are like converting to a new old career. Cause I feel like this is something that you've wanted to do for a while, or you've had your sight set on for a while, but you just never saw it as a career because everyone else around you didn't want you to realize that it can really be your career. Some kind of weird BS like that. And it's like, as you eclipse all of their energy out and you're like, no, this is like my destiny. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing this. You know, there is an energy of extreme power and empowerment and taking the power back. I'm hearing power for the people. Um, we lastly have the indigo pegasus of wisdom. So some of you guys could be indigo children or your parents could be indigo children. Um, you could be dealing with someone who is an indigo. Some of you guys might be getting into an age, ooh, like a dating someone like 10 years, 10 plus years older or 10 plus years younger than you. And you guys, it kind of goes back to that energy um, previously where I was saying like where you're naive they're really wise and you know where they're naive you're really wise and so there's this connection here um with a big age gap for some of you guys aries leo sash so you could be getting into it with someone with an age gap young young old old young okay um but the thing with the indigo pegasus of wisdom is also a card of courage it's a card of like the ace of swords it's like an activation of your truth to such an extent that you can override 
your emotions. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sometimes fire signs can get the brunt end of being like too aggressive or too passionate or, you know, like too emotional because they're so passionate. They're so fiery, but you guys are getting, cause this is the number six also. And six is a number of balance, you know, six, um, neutrons, six protons, six electrons. Um, you know, it's like an, an, it's an atom. It's like a perfect atom. And so six is like that symbiotic equal give and take that reciprocity, like this flow. It's like really fluid. And what I'm seeing with this energy is this person, like connecting with this person, younger or older, even if it's not a long-term thing, it's just something that comes into your life. It's like this person comes into your life to activate you and you were brought into this person's life to activate them. And once the activation is done, then it's like handshake. I, now it's time I go on my way. <laughs> and it's like you scurry along your way and you go activate somebody else and they go activate somebody else. And it's, I don't know, that's a very interesting energy, but my phone's about to die and I want to make sure this one saves because my phone always dies and then the never, the video never saves. So this is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, collective reading and next is going to be air signs. <laughs> 